Birthday Bash by Milkman25 Map Doom 2 Megawatt. We're on map 13. Z Doom Ultraviolence. Oh yeah. Welcome back. Yeah, so the next episode is like hardcore Doom 1 levels. Like, I think, no Super Shotgun, no Doom 2 enemies. And then, of course, we get this music. Nostalgia Trip. Alright, I like the... the, um... columns here. The pillars. I think this is perhaps a little bit too dark. Um... Because what this is saying, what this is technically saying is that the sun is directly overhead, that's why you get the shadow where it is, but should it really be this many shades darker? I wouldn't think so. Anyway, 145, 87, and 7 secrets. Yeah, I do kind of remember this level. That's a very nice demon trap. I was not expecting that. Just enough pressure on me to make my life a little bit tense for a moment. Oh, darn it, I got the right. Yeah, that looks like a secret. Yeah, so it's a marked change. I mean, we had the Sandy Peterson kind of abstract weirdness. Now we've got ED of the Dead. There's no mistaking it. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, I remember the Barons. I ended up leaving these Barons alive for like a lot of time. I actually remember my comment when I played the beta was that perhaps the Barons could be Hell Knights, but if this is strict D1, that's obviously not going to happen. It's kind of interesting though that you really, it's not even plausible to kill them early on. I would have to use the pistol to do it. Not what anyone wants to do. Yeah, I heard that.
Oh, I'm gonna find it. Maybe I actually keep going. I got some shooting to do. Gotta waste at least 45 bullets. Yes, yeah, weird that there's a soul sphere. It seemed like this secret was chained to the other soul sphere secret. Plasma gun here too. Somewhere. Well, that was a hefty secret. <laughs> hefty chain of secrets, really. A lot of fun, though. Still haven't gotten that. Yeah, this is very much like standard Doom. Yeah, 
Yeah, the secrets seem very generous, though. This looks like a... situations like this, usually it's better to hide these other two lines and mark the front one as secret or not shown on auto map. Alright, let's take a look for secrets, see if there's anything we didn't get yet that I think I could get. Like this. No? I guess that's it. Gotta go do red. Which I've already seen, apparently. <laughs> ah, okay. I like that marker there. It tells you what the switch did. The sectors here, I think, are probably the wrong brightness, though. Yeah, see, Doom 1 never would have told you that. It wouldn't have actually had those little bars raise up. But because it did, I don't have to run around searching for what the Switch did. I know what it did. The ammo distribution is a little weird. Not given a lot of shells. Got ourselves a little maze. Given a lot of rockets, which I'm fine with. Oh, come on, don't mess with me. Maybe those are traps on my way back. It's definitely not too difficult. I've been sitting at 200 basically since I first went outside. Not to mention there's still a soul sphere out there. plasma gun is, I'm not going to get to use it at all. Which is weird, I actually thought I'd remember getting the plasma gun. But yeah, with all the secrets that I have found, I still have to shotgun a Baron. That's not ideal. Oh, now I got hit. plasma gun. Yes it is. <laughs> I get it for nine whole enemies. Man, I could have gotten that right away too. What a bummer. 
dummy sector that could probably be hidden from the map. Yeah, unfortunately, when you do a... when you do a, a computer area map, you really gotta you really gotta hide everything from your auto map. What the heck? I think there's a missing texture here. Yeah, there's a missing texture on the floor here. Yeah, I got nothing on that. Alright, um... Where do I need to go now? Yellow. So yeah, definitely a little bit of a nostalgia trip. I mean, all the E1 tropes that you know and love are, are there. Um, without any of the, dare I call them, errors, like, you know, misalignments and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of, some fun secret stuff, some chain secrets, some rather generous secrets. Um, one secret gives you 200 cells, another secret gives you the plasma gun, so if you get both of those, you're in very good shape. Just, um, a chain of secrets gives you two soul spheres, so you're going to be in really good health shape. Um, yeah, I mean, doing this level without any secrets is going to be a challenge. You're going to be leaving a lot of barons alive. There really are not many rockets. There probably are not enough rockets to kill just all the barons, let alone shooting them at any hordes of imps or demons, so the ammo is just kind of weird. It's like, it's it's more bullets than anything. They're, you're even low on shells for a while. Um, so yeah, with seven secrets in a map that's only like 140 enemies, I think it's important that they're not too good. Like the difference between getting all of them and getting none of them isn't absolute night and day. Now, I, I, I'm perfectly fine with the map is gonna be hard if you don't find any of them, but I guess my issue is more like if you find all of them, it's going to be an absolute breeze, which this would have been. You know, if I get that plasma secret early, and then I get that bulk cell, and I got two soul spheres to work with, this map's pretty much a breeze. Um, so I would think about redistributing the, the goodies in the map proper and in the secrets. I mean, I like all the secrets. They're fun. They're they're interactive, and overall, it's a good map. Uh, like I said, nostalgic. All the good E1 stuff going on. Some uh, some good use of kind of tight space. Like I said, I really don't mind showing a Baron early when you really don't have the ammo to kill it. I just I. I, I want there to be ammo to kill it eventually at some point, which if you get the secrets there is. Alright, well that's a, uh, that's a bold start to a new chapter, a new uh, episode in this Megawad. Map 13, welcome back. <laughs>